What's going on, nation? And welcome to January Jumpstart Part 2. If you guys haven't seen Part 1, check it out right here. Part 1 was the upper body split. Today, we're going to be doing the lower body split. Now, just like before, we're going to have a warm up, then we're going to have a circuit that's split into two parts, and then we're going to have a cool down. So, let's get started with the warm up. There's going to be three exercises, and you guys are going to do two rounds per set of three exercises. So the first thing you're gonna do is gonna be a burpee. For the burpees, I want you guys to do 20 reps, and I'm gonna do the first round with you guys, okay? So burpees, 20 reps. Now make sure when you do these, you guys hit the ground, chest to the ground, then jump up as high as you can, all right? Let's get started. But you might be on 12. Go to 12. That's bad. <laughs> the next thing you guys are gonna do is gonna be a sit through. Now, this is more of a warm up thing. Sit throughs generally, I should be out of my breath away. Sit throughs generally, you guys can do pretty quick side to side. What we're gonna focus on is just sitting out and really opening up the hips, okay? So get off in a plank position like this. You're gonna step and sit. I want you guys to sit right on your butt, toe to the ceiling, and really get that hip out there as far as you can, okay? Come back in, starting position, come back out to the other side. Now, you guys are gonna do 10 per side, so that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, the next thing you guys are going to do. It's 50 jumping jacks. Jumping jacks are very simple. Just make sure, go as wide as you can, and really come up. I don't want to see this. All the way up, go out as far as you can, a little bit past shoulder length. So let's get started. 50 jumping jacks. Try and stay on your toes. Keep your core tight to intensify it a little bit. Halfway there. I want you guys to do one more round, take a water break, and I'll see you at circuit one. All right guys, you just finished your water break, now let's get started with circuit one. Circuit one has three exercises, and you guys are gonna complete four rounds with little to no rest in between each set, in between each round, okay? First thing you guys are gonna do is gonna be resistance band high knees. So for this exercise, you're gonna need a resistance band. If you don't have one, I got links in the info section below for you guys to pick one up. And what you're gonna do 
is pull your resistance band up to about shoulder height. Okay, and get it up just like this. And for the high knees, you're gonna do this exercise for 30 seconds, and you wanna challenge yourself, you wanna be careful, you don't wanna go so far forward that as you start to run in place, you fly backwards, okay? So get just enough tension on there, keep your core tight throughout the whole exercise. If you guys have a timer, you can do that, you can use that. If you don't, obviously you can pick one up, you can try to count in your head. But what I've noticed for the speed I go at, if I do about 45 reps per side, it equals out to about 30 seconds, okay? So, let's do this together, I'm gonna lean forward, I'm trying to get my knees as high as, my, as I can, and I stay on my toes, let's do it. Keep trying to push forward. Whew. So 45 per side, counting in my head. Should be good up to about 30 seconds. Now the next exercise you're gonna do is gonna be a jump squat with the medicine ball. Now, for this exercise, you're gonna need a medicine ball. You don't have to use an eight pound ball like I'm using right now. You can choose the size that best suits you. And you can do this exercise a couple different ways. The first five reps are gonna do the easier way. The last 10, a little more intense. Now jump squat is simple. You're gonna hold the ball in front of you just like this. Feet a little wider than the shoulder width apart. You're gonna come down, come up on your toes. Push to the air, and if you can put the jump into it, up toes, jump, land. Now, make sure you land with a strong base. Try to land with light. Try not to stomp your feet on the ground and make it continuous, okay? So, 15 reps. Let's give it a shot. It's the easier way. Two, three. Still getting a full extension. Now, the jump. Boom, 15 reps. And the last thing you guys are gonna do is gonna be resistance band, hip abduction. Now, for this exercise, I've tied off a resistance band to this wall right here, this post. I'm gonna step inside of it. If you guys want to, you can use this band as well. Just tie it off in a similar way. What I want you guys to do you stand with your feet about shoulder length apart. You're gonna do 15 reps per side. It's more of an isolation exercise, but it's still gonna help strengthen the hips, burn some extra calories, keep it moving. And what I want you guys to do is keep your core nice and tight and keep your glutes flexed as well. So, stand up like this, core tight, butt tight. Step out, come in, step back, stop. Get your strong base back, one rep. Two, three, four, five, seven. Everything's nice and tight. Core's tight. Glutes are tight. One more. Now the other side. It's really easy to switch. Just spin around. Start off, feet shoulder length apart. Slide bend the knees, core tight, glutes tight. Step out, strong base. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Everything nice and tight. Whew. 
Wow, I really felt those back here. That felt great. So, that's the first round for circuit one. You guys are gonna do three more rounds, take a water break, and I'll see you at circuit two. All right, guys, now let's get started with circuit two. Circuit two, the same thing, guys. You're gonna do three exercises, four rounds, 15 reps per exercise, but you're gonna need a medicine ball for a couple of them. So if you don't have a medicine ball, I have links in the info section below so you guys can pick one up over at Sears for Studio. First exercise we're gonna do is gonna be a medicine ball stepping lunge. Now once again, I have an eight pound medicine ball. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this over my head and then I get a lot of feel, so I'll throw out my shoulders, my core, and especially my legs, quads in particular, because we're doing lunges. And what I want you guys to do is stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, you're going to step forward, just like this. And when you come down, I want you to focus on coming down to 90 degree bends in both knees. Keeping your shoulders nice and high, elbows straight, and then coming back. So that's one, step, down, back, one. So make sure you guys do one rep per side. Come forward, two, two. Now as an added thing, guys, you can keep your glutes nice and tight as well. Intensify the exercise a little bit. Three. Three, four, four. Glutes are tight, five. Quads are tight, five. Core is tight, six, six, seven, seven, eight. Start to feel that in your shoulders. Nine. Nine, 10, 10, five more, one, one, two, two, three more, three, four, four, five, boom, 15 per side, Put your medicine ball down. However, don't throw it away, but you need to get him for the third exercise. The next exercise you're gonna do is gonna be resistance band hip adduction. For this exercise, put your outside leg in resistance band just like this. Now you're gonna start off with a little bit of tension in the band. Once again, we're gonna help strengthen the hips in this exercise. It's a bit more of an isolation exercise for the adductors. And what you're gonna do, start off with your feet. Both shoulder width apart. Get a nice steady, uh, nice stable stance. Bend your knees a bit. And all you're gonna do is go from your base, step up, keep your leg fully extended, come in front, come back nice and slow, let me adjust real quick. So like this. Down, base, up, control on the way back. Three, 15 per side. Six, seven, eight, nine. That was, it might move a little bit on you, resistance band, to get to lower it a little bit. It's okay, take a little rest, lower the band back down, continue with your reps. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you're gonna feel this in both legs because you're stabilizing yourself with your left leg while your right leg's in the air. So now you're gonna switch legs. One foot out, one foot in. Get your base going. Keep your core nice and tight. You're gonna, see it's a little different than this side. I'm, uh, what's the word, ambidextrous? with the word showing? <laughs> so you're gonna step out, just like this. Find your base. Get in your base stance. Come out. Keep that leg straight. Core tight. Swing as far as you can.
15 per side. I actually started feeling that a little bit in my obliques as well as I was keeping my core nice and tight. So the next thing we're gonna do, the last exercise, is gonna be a medicine ball hip thrust. So for this exercise, you're gonna need a medicine ball. It doesn't matter how much the ball weighs, it just has to be big enough for you to put your toes on it. So I got my medicine ball right here. You're gonna lay it out on the ground, and you can use your arms for support if you'd like. You can put your arms out here, you can put them down here. If you wanna make it even harder, put your hands behind your head, don't use them at all. What you're gonna do is put the ball in between your legs like this, put your toes on the ball, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hip thrust straight up. While you hip thrust, you're gonna breathe out, and then you flex your hamstrings and your glutes and your core all at the same time. And you're gonna do 15 repetitions. Two, nice hard flex. Three, four, you should really feel that. Right through the hamstrings, right through the glutes, Right through the core. Five more. Boom. As soon as you finish those, you guys are going to do three more rounds, take a water break, and I'll see you at the cool down. All right, guys, you just finished both circuits. You're feeling really good. You've had your water break. Now let's get started with the cool down. We're going to do three simple exercises, 30 seconds per exercise to get you guys ready to hit it hard, super hard tomorrow with January Jumpstart Part 1, okay? You're going to be alternating these routines. So for the cool down, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do a wall hip stretch, okay? And the way you're going to do this exercise in the easiest way to get into position He's going to get down just like this. I like to just kind of scoop my butt against the wall. If people see you in the gym looking a little weird, that's fine. You can do it any way you want. But I like to line up like this and then roll over so I'm really close to the wall. I start this way. Then I'm going to bring my legs down as much as I can. Okay? Then I'm going to push myself in the air. Take one of my legs. And I'm going to bring it down as much as I can. My right leg's a little more flexible. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my lower back my butt down to the floor, nice and slow. You don't want to hurt yourself. And the goal here is to try and get your butt back down to the wall and the floor. And as you can see, my hips are a little tight. I'm going to breathe normally. I'm going to hold this position for 30 seconds. And what I can even try to do from here is grab my knee and just pull down a little more and a little more as I breathe. Try and get that hip all the way to the ground. One day I will mark my words. Maybe even do a split one day, that'd be pretty cool. Once you hold 30 seconds on one side, gently bring your leg up, put it back on the wall, hips in the air, bring the other leg down as much as you can. I have a harder time with my left leg. Foot flat on the wall, drive your hips into the ground. Now you're gonna hold the other side for 30 seconds. Another thing you can actually do too with my left leg, because it's a little more, it's a little tighter than my right one, is I take my knee over here and I try and push it this way to open up the hips as well. Just gotta be careful though, you guys don't want to hurt anything. So you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Feel it all right through here. It's really stretching real good. As soon as you finish 30 seconds on this side, you guys can go to the next stretch, which is gonna be a hurdler stretch. Very simple, just roll over, bring one leg in as much as you can. You guys I remember this from high school, right? Some of you guys are still in high school. And you're gonna reach and you're gonna stretch and try and grab your toe and bring your head down to your knee by keeping your leg locked though. I don't wanna see any of this, okay? Get down as far as you can, breathe regularly, hold one side for 30 seconds. Oh yeah. You're gonna feel this throughout your whole leg. Depending on how tight you are, you'll feel it in your lower back as well. I feel it in mine. You really want to push that knee to the ground. As soon as you finish 30 seconds on one side, you guys are going to switch sides. Get that leg in as tight as you can. Now again, on the other side, my whole leg was on the ground, my knee was on the ground. This one it raises a little bit because my hip's tight. So I'm going to try and hold that knee down as I stretch this way. So I'm gonna grab my toe, breathe regularly. Just 
like this. Hold for 30 seconds. See, so I feel the stretch all through here. I feel it all through here. Feeling it through my quad as well a bit. In case you're wondering, I got into a nasty car accident when I was 18. I got rear-ended super hard. I've never really been the same since then, a little tighter in some places. But you can always make a full recovery if you spend more time stretching. It'll be one of my New Year's resolutions is to stretch more and more and more. Once you finish 30 seconds on one side, you guys are gonna stand up, and you're gonna do a standing quad stretch. Now, if you need some support, you can grab onto a wall. What I want you guys to do is stand up straight just like this. Now, most people kind of just stand and stretch their quad and go all kinds of places. I want you guys to stand straight. I want you to push your hips forward and then pull your toes up really high, just like this, by pushing your hips forward and trying keeping your legs lined up like mine are like this. My knees pointing directly down to the ground. You're gonna feel really good in that quad. Hold it for 30 seconds. Like I said, if you need wall support, hold on to the wall. As soon as you finish one side, grab the other leg, same thing. Make sure you push your hips forward. Quad, kneecap pointing to the ground. Yeah, not your quad kneecap, just your kneecap. Hold for 30 seconds. That feels nice. And as soon as you finish this, you guys are gonna go through the stretches one more time for two rounds, and you've completed January Jumpstart Part Two. Now remember, I want you guys to alternate these uh, both videos, part one one day, part two the next day. You can do it six days in a row. You can choose the rest on the seventh day. Maybe do some light stretching, cardio and abs, okay? Whatever you wanna do, it's your seventh day. I would utilize it to do a little extra work, but you might need a rest, that's okay. Make sure you guys are eating, make sure you're hydrating. Hope you guys enjoyed this excellent video. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.